Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be a client's tarot reading. <clears throat> this is the one question tarot reading. Um, for your reading, I'm going to be working with the Psychic Tarot um, along with the Rider Waite deck. i um, going to go back to the basics. I'm really, really, really loving my Psychic Tarot this season. Um, I feel like it's just been giving such good readings for my clients, so <laughs> I'm going to keep that going. Isn't this box so cute? This is a little box I found at the Chakra, I think it's called the Chakra Shack, um, when I went away with my husband for our, our little anniversary getaway, um, and the box was there. So anyways, the Rider White deck as well. Um, I will be using. So my client's question is focusing on their path. Um, they are just wanting to know about, um, they work, they currently work as a teacher's assistant. I believe it's part time, but I'm, I'm not too sure. But as a teacher's assistant, but my client also is a tarot reader or a reader of some sort. Um, and they just want to know, you know, because they feel the call, their spiritual awakening has definitely, you know, had a jump start. Um, and they are feeling the vibes, they're feeling the call to do this kind of work. And they want to know if um, the, you know, the path of being a spiritual healer, a psychic, whatever you want to call it, is that path for them. Is there more to this awakening than, you know, than what's been happening? Is their path going to be able to provide them the income that they need to survive? Um, where should they go? What, what should they do? So that's what we're going to be looking at. Um, basically, like, you know, just around that. So um, I felt that the psychic tarot would have been really perfect for this question um as a lot of spiritual spiritual related questions I, I love using the psychic tarot for so that's what we're gonna look at um and we'll see what happens so let's see and just so you guys know the the one question tarot reading um it's a full oh there we go <laughs> it is a full size reading um, I usually pull multiple cards and the way I like is, you know, that my client asks the question and I like to kind of approach it from different angles. So even though you purchase a one question, um, you know, because I have the time and I, you know, I can play with it as much as I like, um, I will usually give you more than just the answer to the question. So for those of you guys who are, you know, curious to have a reading done <laughs> and you want to get a three question reading, but maybe you can't afford it, um, the one question, just ask your one question, but because I have, you know, the ability to pull multiple cards, especially for the video readings, which is why I love the video readings, um, I will always give you more than one insight one look I it's not just one card pull it pull it's I mean I, I pull multiple cards so you definitely get your money's worth for your reading um and it just it that's why I love the video readings over my email because the email readings I was very much limited to pulling a certain amount of cards and that was it but video I mean I give myself um enough time to you know, be able to pull multiple ways, and it's just very different, so, just wanted to put that out there, because I know that I have some people who, like, they want to purchase more questions, but they may not have the budget to do so, <laughs> um, I have this big ass clear quartz, um, crystal with me, my husband actually pulled it from my, um, my shelf because I have a really really bad headache this morning um, and I'm really scared that it's gonna turn into a migraine because usually that's what happens with my headaches not all the time but the ones that I have right above my eye <laughs> so he pulled my clear quartz and he was you know I was laying down with my eyes closed and he was waving my clear quartz over my face so that was really sweet of him but anyways I have this big guy with me because um, clear quartz I like to use to 
get rid of all those energies. So I and I love to have clear quartz on the table. So because I was using him earlier, that's why he's on the table. <laughs> just in case you were wondering, like, what is that? <laughs> okay, so let's start. Um, I'm just gonna. I, you know, I just work intuitively, you guys. I don't use a spread, so I'm just going to pull my cards, and woo, you got a lot of fire energy, my love, um, and we'll just go from there. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> right off the bat, what I am seeing is um, your foundation definitely needs to change, and your foundation will be stronger, okay? So let me move the camera down so you can see. Okay, so your foundation definitely needs to change. It will become stronger with the change. Lots of fire energy. That's what the red is for on the cards. Um, the main card here, we have material and spiritual prosperity. So this is the one that wanted to come out when I was shuffling. Material and spiritual prosperity is showing me indecisiveness. I feel the two fountains, you gazing at the two fountains, the two options. Two is a key word here. When I was reading your email before I was, you know, getting ready to film, I was tapping into your question, I was tapping into your energy, and I was asking my guides to give me just kind of an overview of what this reading was going to look like. What I found for you and I love that this card is displaying that, is that um, you are going to need to do the two, the two job hustle, okay? Whereas you will continue doing your library, your library, sorry, my mind is on library because that's what I do, <laughs> um, the teacher's assistant. Doing that, if you could go part-time, go part-time, especially when you begin your tarot or your spiritual, your readings, um, doing half and half and it's like and I want to say I've already mentioned this to you before but it's very similar to my path I work at a library part-time and I do my tarot readings part-time as well so it's like half and half um because obviously I would love to be able to do this full-time it doesn't bring in the money that I need to support um the income that you know the the, the money that I need to support myself um yes I have the help of my husband but we take, we, we pretty much divide the finances. So for my portion, um, working at the library part-time plus this, calculating moon is enough. Um, but to make calculating moon full-time, I'm not quite there yet. I'm almost there, but I'm not quite there yet. So for you, I feel it would be the same thing. And there is nothing wrong with doing a side hustle. There is nothing wrong with doing half and half. We all want to jump into our dream full force, and some people do. Some people will take that risk, but they usually have um, help with them, whether it, it is a significant other who makes really good money so that the finances won't be um, as rocky, you know, without bringing in as much income on your part. Um, but we don't always have that, you know, my husband brings in money, but he doesn't bring in entirely enough to support the two of us with just his income. So that's where I come in. Um, so for you, it's different. Um, I feel, I feel like your email, it said single, you are a single, um, like you didn't have help. You didn't have assistance. It was just you. So I'm feeling like doing the side hustle, doing the two, because I do see the two here. Um, that is what's going to work for you and that is okay. So that's what I'm seeing with material and spiritual prosperity. Material and spiritual. It is the matters of material is bills, your, you know, your income, your bills, you're paying rent or paying mortgage, you know, material items. And then the spiritual is obviously your tarot readings or being a reader, or being a healer, or a spiritual advisor or whatever you want to do. That is the spiritual side. And prosperity is prosperity in both avenues. Prosperity in both paths. Okay. Firm foundation, like I said. It is very important for your foundation to be strong in 100% right now. And also once you make this shift. And the shift that we're talking about is you breaking apart. Not just being a teacher's assistant but a teacher's assistant slash tarot reader, a teacher's assistant slash spiritual advisor, okay? 
and having a firm foundation in both of those paths. And I feel like you have it pretty good with the spiritual, I mean, the, the teacher's assistant. You're pretty much grounded with that. But when it comes to your tarot readings and stuff, there's still a little bit more work to do. And by that, I mean getting your online shop ready, deciding if you're going to do in-person clients or just focus online, you know, get your price list set up, maybe have a logo or a spiritual name, whatever. All of the little details need to be taken care of, your firm foundation, okay? And then we have financial and material changes. So, of course, when you decide to, you know, start a spiritual business, the finances, everything is going to be tweaked and changing a little bit. Um, it would be crazy and silly to think that right off the bat, you're going to make billions of dollars. In a spiritual business, it's not likely. It can be possible, but it takes time. So if you are just starting out, don't have those... Um, don't have those expectations, okay, of it covering all of the bills. It takes time. I'm in my business um, four years from selling. Let's see, I started selling in the end of 2013. Um, so 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, wow, five years. <laughs> Coming on five years. Um, and it's, you know, and I have seen it grow and I, I was able to go part time with my day job before I was doing full time work plus this. So I went from full time to cutting my hours to part time because what I make with, with Cackling Moon, it, it pretty much suffices the, the money that I was losing by working part time. Okay. So that's the, that is what the financial material changes are. Changing your lifestyle with the material. Okay. Changing, if you're usually used to going out to eat multiple times out of the week, you may have to drop that. Um, if you were used to having a couple hundred dollars extra out of your paycheck after you pay bills with your, your paycheck, that might change because your spiritual income might shift it so much that <laughs> you won't have as much extra money, you know, because you have to build up your client base. You have to start somewhere. So... Don't just jump right off the bat to part-time work if you are still working full-time. Um, feel this out. And once you get to that point where you feel, oh my gosh, I'm making enough, I can do part-time at the day job, then do it. Um, but don't jump ship right off the bat unless you fully know you can do this. The tarot cards are showing me lots of urgency to move. Okay. Okay. <laughs> But they are also showing me at the core with the material and spiritual prosperity with the hermit. So making sure that you are putting a lot of um, contemplation, you are thinking this through, um, make sure you have a plan. The hermit is very focused and inward focused. This is solitary decision making. You need to make these decisions for yourself without the noise of everybody on the outside and myself included this reading i hope will guide you to make your decision but i'm not here to tell you what to do okay so the hermit is you really got to look inward make a list of the pros and cons make a list of the things that you want and you know start budgeting start writing your budgets down on paper i always do that Okay, how much money do you need to be making a month to pay the bills and rent or, or mortgage or whatever and still have something left over so that you aren't completely broke, okay? And when you have your numbers figured out, then you could see, okay, how much does my spiritual business have to bring in versus what my steady income is bringing in, okay? So that's that hermit card is very important, <laughs> Because surrounding the hermit, we have fast-paced urgency to make decision cards. We have the eight of wands, which is the green light card. It's like saying, go for it. This is the path to do it. We have the chariot, which again is travel. Is, is It's a card of travel. It's a card of making action. Okay. And then we also have the knight of swords who will often act impulsively. So that's one you got to keep in check. You do not want to act impulsively on this path, but it is a path that's going to require action 
for you to see if it's gonna work out for you. This is not a path that <laughs> that you could think about and you know test the waters with just by thinking it. You actually have to physically do it, okay? And we have the Page of Wands, which is a dreamer. The Page of Wands has all these amazing, inspiring ideas and new new pathways and just new things that they want to do their creative aspect is really calling out so you feel the call but at the same time i love that the the page of wands is gazing up at the hermit the hermit is gazing down at the page of wands almost like saying don't jump to conclusions make sure you are thinking this through um make sure you are really you know, considering all um, all possibilities here before you make a big decision. So I love that. I love that the, <laughs> that that came through. So now that we laid the foundation for for this question, I feel like the cards are definitely directing you to cut um, cut things in half. So you are doing the the teaching assistant right now. Start adding in your spiritual business. And if you haven't even formed an online shop or um, decided if you wanted to do online or in-person readings or whatever, you really got to get all of those little details under control first before you can um, start to take action. So the first couple steps for that um, is figuring out your plan. What are you going to do? What, you know, what needs to be done? What, what do you have to create? Do you want to go full-blown website online? Do you just want an online shop like an Etsy store or a Store Envy like I use? Um, are you going to use PayPal? Like, you got to think about all the details. And then start taking action. Um, you're going to want a spiritual platform. I would suggest keeping it separate from your personal name just for the sake of your day job for the sake of your personal identity um if you are doing a spiritual business i would say stay away from using your full-blown legal name um always have an alias at least that's my opinion I mean, some people use their real names and stuff but that's because usually that's all they do is their spiritual business but if you have like another job um like you know like i do or you do too you may not want to use your legal name you may want to go by an alias first and then you can blend it i mean you could totally change that later but um you got to have some sort of social media that's how you are going to attract clients that's how you're going to get people to know who you are um, so pick a platform. I usually tell my clients when I'm giving them business advice, um, as much business advice as I could give because I'm still learning, um, to have at least two platforms that you use, um, the most, two platforms that you really enjoy. So for me, it would be Instagram, obviously, um, and it used to be Tumblr, but I got away from that. So for me right now, it's solely Instagram and then YouTube. I upload a lot on YouTube. I, I wish I could do more, but... And I'm also on Facebook but and Twitter. <laughs> but I don't want to, like, um, overwhelm myself. So that's why I say, like, stick to maybe two that you know you love, that you can be consistent with. And then you can also have yourself on all the other platforms, but don't have pressure to have to provide on all those platforms all the time. At least you're doing one or two where people can find you. That is how you're going to advertise yourself, okay, my love? So <laughs> let, let's focus on what's the next step. Let's focus on what is the next move for you. <clears throat> you just got all of the major arcana cards. That is so funny. <clears throat> like first you had all the fire cards now you got all major arcana oh powerful 
powerful. You're going to be really good at this. You are so connected with spirit and you will be more so. Okay. What I'm seeing here is the shadow card. This is also the moon card in the tarot. Okay. Shadow aspect. You facing fears, I feel. Intuitively, this is you seeking your fears. You coming face to face with what is holding you back. What is causing you to doubt yourself? What is, what is it that you were afraid of? And once you face that and you realize it's not as bad as I was thinking, you can move forward. The Four of Swords came up with that. Four of Swords is a card of contemplation, taking a moment or a break or a meditate, you know, meditate on it. But whatever it is, like I said with the Hermit card, the Four of Swords energy is very much the same as that Hermit card. When you were really paying attention to what are the plans that I need to take? What are the steps? What do I need to consider? You really got to contemplate on it. This is you taking quiet solo time to do so. Don't rely on other people telling you what to do. Like I said, this reading, I, it is meant to give you guidance, but I am not here to tell you what you have to do. I, I could give you assistance as much as I can. I could give you guidance. I could give you, you know, all of that and my support. But it is solely a decision that only you can make on yourself because it is your life, it is your path, and your journey. So below that, we have balance. And this is so important. <sighs> Having balance is all about... Um, like I said, with that foundation card before, having balance in the material life and your spiritual life, having balance in the black and the white, you really got to make sure that you are taking care of both sides of yourself. When you start a spiritual business on the side of a reality or a, a day job, your real life, you will feel like you are living two lifestyles. <laughs> it's without a doubt, you will feel that. Um, I feel it all the time. I am very familiar with living a double life. So if you have questions about that, I would, you know, I'm here for you, my love. But it is part of the journey and you need balance in both. If you are giving more focus and attention and, t and time to one of the paths versus the other, you will start to feel it. And that's why sometimes it hurts me. It, it gets to me because a lot of times my day job suffers because it's not the one that I love the most. So <laughs> having balance and you also got the four of wands, which is the foundation card. It is firm foundation. Like we talked about, it is very important that you are grounded. It is very important that you are focused on your home life, the support system that you have, having support, so people who support you and your decisions, surrounding yourself with friends that, that really support you and understand you. All of that is important. Because that's what's going to help you when you are, you know, in a little bit of a rocky place. It's not easy when you start something new. But if you have people who support you and that you can turn to to talk to about, it helps a lot. Then we have destiny to the left. And you have the high priestess. It's so powerful. The destiny card in itself is telling you that this is the path that you are supposed to take. This is the next phase. It's a 10 card, which is the end of a path. It's a new beginning on the verge, on the verge of a new beginning. To get the high priestess, it's showing your intuition. You are following a path that you feel called to. You are, your intuition is, is raging within you. This is a path that you are meant to do, okay? It's beautiful. I totally see it's like you're, you are, <laughs> you are you are tapping in you are hearing the call and it's just the cards are basically saying this is good this is good this is what you are supposed to do to the future we have triumph you will conquer you will be very powerful in this path don't doubt yourself and we have a two of wands again a two key word here like i said before to me, the two, like I said, is reality, day job. This is your teacher assistant job, spiritual path, your readings, 
being a reader, combining the two incomes to, to fit and work for you to give you what you want or what you need. You see that? So that is what you should do. That is my guidance to you, my love, of what you should do. I hope that this reading helped you. Um, I hope that it gave you some, um, some wisdom. I hope that it gave you answers. And I hope that it helped you make, you know, make you feel like you are capable of doing this. So if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out. I'm here for you. Thank you for letting me read for you. And I wish you all of the best as when we are following our hearts and when we are taking part in a journey, I totally support 100% because it's something that I did. So I have a lot of, <laughs> a lot of experience and um, encouragement. I just, I love seeing people follow their dreams. So I wish you all the best. Anyone who's watching, this is a one question tarot reading. The videos are usually about 20 to 25 minutes. Um, so if you want one, please reach out. The link will be below to check out my shop and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye loves.